you enjoy yourself too much and you ain't barely started I just can't invest in shit to end the broken heart If you stay taking pictures, pictures Just to show them to your bitches, bitches So you can make them jealous Now I know where you head And then you stay taking those pictures What's up guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, welcome, welcome. My name is Lizelle and for today's video, we are going to be talking all about my hair. So for quite some time now, I've been getting requests from people asking me to do a video all about my hair, just talking about how I look after it, maintain it, grow it, the color, like what products I use, that kind of thing. I just haven't done it because honestly, when it comes to my hair, I am very lazy. I don't know, I just feel like I'm the kind of girl that likes to do her makeup, but when it comes to my hair, I would rather just like throw it up in a bun or just leave it out and messy. Like I just don't really care too much for my hair, but you guys have been asking me to talk all about it and I figured that I would share like my hair care routine, um, that kind of thing. So if you guys are interested, keep on watching. If you do find this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and if you're new, you know what to do, join the crew by hitting the little red subscribe button down below and also click that bell so you can stay notified with all the videos that I post. So first things first, when it comes to my hair, I know a lot of you guys would have seen me with it pretty much like this, straight. But if you guys have me on snap, which if you don't, you know what to do. Then you would know that my hair is actually naturally wavy. My dad has curly hair, my mom has straight hair. Put it together and I got the wavy hair. A lot of the time if I'm not going anywhere, if I'm just at home, chilling, going to the gym, that kind of thing, I don't bother doing anything to my hair. I just wash it, let it air dry, and it typically dries wavy. It's just that it's not a nice wavy, like it's frizzy wavy. And then if I were to brush it, it's like boom. Big. So that's my hair type, wavy. I also get oily really quickly because I do have oily skin naturally. If you have oily skin, typically you'll find that your hair does get oily really quickly, but we'll talk about that later on. So those are the details of my hair type. Now when it comes to color, I've actually been getting people asking me like what hair color I use. Now right now, the color that you guys see, this is my natural hair color. On camera, I feel like it pulls really dark, but when I'm out in the sun or in like a well-lit area, um, it's actually quite brown. So yeah, because my mom is Asian, obviously she does have black hair. My dad's hair, however, is like a light brown. So put them together, that's what I got. It also has like red undertones to it naturally, and I feel like it does lighten up on its own really easily, especially in the summer. If I'm out in the sun a lot, you will find that my hair does get a lot of like almost caramel blonde highlights throughout it naturally, which is, I don't know, it's cool, but it just kind of happens that way. But on camera right now, like what you're seeing, it just looks really dark to me. I did used to box dye my hair black, but for the most part, it was always just semi-permanent and it always would fade out. So this right now is my natural hair color. Unfortunately, I don't know what kind of hair color it is. It's just brown, but um, yeah, sorry to disappoint. I know some of you guys were like, what hair color do you use? And I, I don't know, this is just how it is. In terms of the cut, to be honest, nothing special. When I go to the hairdresser, I'm like, just give me some layers, please. And give me a little bit of a trim, which now that I'm looking at it on camera, I probably do need to go get another haircut soon because my hair is quite long at the moment and the layers have somewhat grown out. And I do have a lot of hair. I, like my hair isn't thick, it's not thick at all, but I feel like I naturally have fine hair, but there's a lot, like I have a lot of hair. So yeah, those are all the details about my hair. I'm sorry that I keep playing with it. Yes, I'm one of those people that is constantly like pushing my hair back and just like tussling it. That's just how I am. If you're with me, you'll always see that I'm just playing with my hair. Anyways, I'm sure you guys are keen to know what products I use because I get people asking me like, how do you grow your hair so long? Now, I don't know if my hair care routine is like a contributing factor as to why my hair grows so long. I feel like that's all a part of genetics and just the way that your hair naturally grows. I mean, sure you can take supplements and use all these fancy products and stuff, but for me, I feel like my hair just grows really quickly. That's just how it is. My hair and my nails. They grow really quick, that's just how it's always been. So I'm very lucky in that sense, but I'm going to show you guys what my current hair care routine is, and this is pretty much what I've been doing for years. 
So first of all, in terms of shampoo, I don't like buying supermarket shampoo. And call me bougie or whatever, but I don't know. I just find that supermarket brand hair products don't really work well for my hair, especially when it comes to shampoo and conditioner. Like that stuff just doesn't agree with my hair. So I have been using salon grade shampoo and conditioner and that's what my hair likes and that's what I've been using for years. So this is from the brand NAK. You can buy this from as I said, the hairdresser or like a hair supply store. So this is a liter bottle and this lasts me for a pretty decent amount of time. You don't have to pump out a lot to get your hair nicely lathered up. And the reason why I like this specific one, so this brand has different types of shampoos and conditioners, like ones for um, oily hair, dehydrated hair, that kind of thing. But this one is specifically for Body and Shine, which I do get people asking me like, how do you get your hair to look so big? I mean, aside from constantly tussling my hair all the time, this I feel like is definitely a contributing factor to that because it gives my hair as the name says body and shine it keeps it shiny and it gives it a lot of bounce i think this retails for around close to 40 dollars a bottle which i know that may seem expensive but like i said a little goes a long way this bottle lasts me a long time and it's just what works for me like i've gone through countless bottles of this stuff so this is my shampoo now when it comes to conditioner i don't use a traditional conditioner i use a hair mask which some people may disagree with me in the fact that I do this, but I don't know, it's what works for me. So this is from the brand Macadamia. This is their deep repair mask. Now I try and wash my hair every two to three days. I don't wash my hair every single night just because I don't wanna dry out my scalp and all that kind of stuff. Even though I do have a naturally oily hair type as well as skin type, I just find that it's better to not wash my hair every single night. That's, that's just me. I feel like that's a part of keeping it nice and healthy. So yeah, I don't wash my hair every single night. Anyways, back to this. Like I said, this is a deep repair mask. So typically people would only really use this maybe once a week once a fortnight, that kind of thing. For me, I use this whenever I wash my hair, which like I said, is every two to three days. So I just take a scoop in the palm of my hands, lather it together and apply it mainly on the ends. I really do focus this on the ends of my hair. For the most part, I don't really have many split ends. Wow, I'm just looking at them right now. I really don't. My routine goes, as soon as I get in the shower, I will wet my hair shampoo it and then I'll put this on the ends of my hair and let it sit while I do the rest of the things that I need to do in the shower like wash my body. This is my shampoo and conditioner combo. I know it's random but this is what works for me. Now this stuff I recently just ran out of and I haven't gone out to go purchase another one but this is like to add a little bit of extra shine to my hair and it makes it super super soft as well. This is from the brand Wella and this is their Lux Oil and basically it is a hair oil. It says that it is a reconstructive elixir for keratin protection. So I wouldn't use this every single day or every single time that I would wash my hair. It's just typically for the times where I want my hair to be nice and smooth, especially if I'm going to straighten it, I like to put this stuff in, which I do straighten my hair a lot, and I'll talk about that in just a second. But yeah, this stuff is really good. I've gone through countless bottles of this once again. It does cost a pretty penny. I think it's like, I think this retails for around $50 for this um, container, but it, it really does last a long time. Like I think I can go using this for a few months before it runs out. I actually only have a teensy bit left in the bottle so I definitely need to go out and purchase some more but like I said I've been using this for years and I really do find that it helps to make a difference in making my hair nice and smooth and keeping it protected that kind of thing so whenever I would use this I would only apply it to the very ends of my hair or I'd apply it to the ends and kind of work my way up and yeah I just feel like it keeps it nice and smooth and shiny and like healthy looking so that's what I use this oil for now when it comes to styling my Hair, like I said, I do straighten my hair a lot. The reason why I straighten my hair a lot, yes, I do love my natural hair, I love it, but it's like a little bit unmanageable sometimes. Like if I have to go to work or if I have to go out, it just gets all over the place, gets super frizzy, that kind of thing. So I find that straightening my hair really does help to keep it tame. So when it comes to styling tools, this is pretty much all I use. 
a GHG straightener. I use this to straighten my hair. I use this to curl my hair. I know everybody has their own opinions about GHDs and other brands of straighteners and hot tools or that kind of thing. But for me personally, I have been using GHDs for the longest time. I'm pretty sure my first GHD I ever had, I owned that for about seven years. So they do last a long time. You do get your money's worth out of them. But yeah, like I said, GHDs are what I use for everything when it comes to straightening, curling, that kind of thing. This is what I use. And yeah, I just like it because it's super quick and easy to heat up. It doesn't take too long and straightening my hair is just like boom, boom done and I'm good to go which is like all I want when it comes to hair because like I said when it comes to doing hair I'm very lazy so like I mentioned earlier I get people asking me how I get my hair to look so um, how do I say it like bodied voluminous plumped up so aside from all these products that I use my number one secret when it comes to making my hair look all like pumped up is this right here dry shampoo but this isn't the typical dry shampoo this is like the extra extra large voluminizing dry shampoo so i don't actually use dry shampoo for that purpose i use dry shampoo to texturize my hair and give it that like oomph if that makes sense because i will do my whole hair washing routine blow dry it straighten it that thing and I'll put this in straight away. Like I don't wait around till my hair gets dirty to put this in. This is a part of my like hair routine. Like my hair doesn't have to be dirty to have this in it, if that makes sense. This one is from the brand Batiste. I've been using this for the longest time. And basically, yeah, when I finish straightening my hair, I will just go ahead and like part my hair, spray it, spray it all around, do this, plump my hair up, do that kind of thing. And then it stays like pumped up for days, I swear. I don't even have to tease my hair. I know that to get volume, some people do like to tease and back comb their hair. For me personally, I don't really do that just because I don't wanna put any like, you know, strain on my hair and damage it even more because teasing does damage your hair. But I find with this, because it's adding texture and volume to my hair, that's pretty much all I need. And since it's adding that texture to my hair, the hair is able to just like, I don't know, kind of grip onto each other and stay in place and like, See what I mean? Like it doesn't fall flat, it just, I don't know. <laughs> I mean, aside from that, I'm constantly just like fluffing my hair up. That's like my thing. It's like a habit, a force of habit. And I know that some people really hate when people are always constantly touching their hair and playing with it, but that's just, that's another thing that I do. But yes, this is my best friend. I love this stuff and um, yeah, if you're gonna get this, the dry shampoo, make sure it's this one, the extra, extra large volume one, not the regular dry shampoo. I mean, that stuff is great if you have oily hair and you wanna soak up that excess oil, but I use this purely for styling purposes. I feel like this is the lazy girl's guide when it comes to making you look like you put a lot of effort into your hair when you didn't at all. Like spray this in, fluff it up, and you're good to go. So yeah, I think that's pretty much it when it comes to everything there is to know about my hair. Of course, if you guys have any questions, feel free to comment them down below. I will definitely reply to them ASAP. And I'll leave a list in the description box of the products that I mentioned. And I'll leave links as well if I can find links. Anyways, I hope you guys found this video helpful. If you did, don't forget to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you're still here watching at the end and you're not yet subscribed. Make sure you hit the little red button down below before you go so then you don't miss any more videos that I post. If you guys want to keep up with me on social media you know where to find me all the links for that are down below and with that being said i hope you guys are having a fabulous week i will talk to you all in the comments and i shall see you in my next video Pictures, pictures, just to show them to you.